everyone good morning am i live yet Hi Sumit, good morning. Okay, so you all can see me. Perfect. Am I audible? Am I audible, everyone? Hi Kylie, very good morning. Hi Geet. Oh Geet, that's you. Good morning, Madhumita. Good morning, everyone. Very good morning. Sub, everyone's awake at this time. Very nice. Hi, Palak. Hi, Kirtana. Very good morning, everyone. How are you guys? So, everyone is home today. Everyone is at home and watching the sessions. Very good. Chalo. Of course, Geet. Had my breakfast. Yes. Hi, Kushi. Very good morning, Kushi. How are you? Good morning, Shreyas. Good morning, Notopedia. <laughs> All right. Okay. So yes, kids, let's begin. Um, every year you guys know in the NEET exam, at least one question comes from cockroach and that too comes right out of the NCRT textbook. Nothing, um, nothing out of the NCRT textbook. Correct. So let's quickly utilize this one hour and we will cover all the lines of the NCRT about cockroach so that nothing is left undone. Yes. Let us begin. Now, um, yes. For those of you who are new to the channel, let me quickly introduce you to myself. I'm Dr. Sindur, Need Zoology Expert at Vedantu. I have over 10 straight years of teaching experience and a, and a very proud mentor of thousands of kids who have already made it to their medical colleges, are already doctors, or some of them who are pursuing their medical right now. So yes, kids, without further delay, um, let us begin. Yes, everyone. Everyone has their NCR textbook with them. Hopefully everyone has is sitting with their NCRT textbook. Chalo. Are you guys ready? Good morning, Shitej. Are you guys ready? Shall we begin? Everyone ready? Show me fun some show me some last Josh on the chat box. Chalo. Show me some love on the chat box and we will start. You guys got to give me some josh on the chat box, then we will start. Chalo. Some josh on the chat box only, then we will start. Quickly, everyone. You may want to... <laughs> yes, Gyan. You may want to um, go through earthworm, okay, and frog. Frog, just read it through. It is very simple. Earthworm, uh, for learning earthworm, I have a, I have a video... Um, in our playlist so go to Enli channel and go to the videos and look for earthworm I have a I have a session there ha huh, that's more like it that is more like it okay so when I say Josh on the chat box this is exactly the Josh that you need to be spreading amongst yourselves and to me also okay you guys have you it's all the Josh is in your hands okay it's all in your hands if you don't if you don't show Josh then we will stop Chala, let's start Chala, let's begin. So, cockroaches are of all different sorts of colors, okay? There are going to be, you will be able to see brown or black bodies, okay? Um, you can also see bright yellow, red and green colored cockroaches. Where are they found? In the tropical regions, okay? The ones you find in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in all around yourselves is always the black or brown ones. We don't get to see colorful cockroaches, correct? All right. So, which is the phylum that they belong to? Class Insecta, Phylum, Arthropoda. Now, what are the dimensions? 
their size ranges from 1 fourth inch to 3 inches important you need to know the size okay it can range right from the baby cockroach all the way up to all the way up to the big one which is 3 inches huh? the one which we are all scared of or you can say 0 0.6 to 7.6 centimeters okay now ahead they are nocturnal omnivores they are active at night they eat everything and they live in damp places throughout the world Hena, you go to any any country on this planet you will find a cockroach over there correct they have been they have become resist, uh, residents of human homes and that's why they are serious pests correct they are also vectors of several diseases all right so let us now start with first the morphology all right we see that also you can say in millimeters 34 to 53 millimeters long so children when you talk about um, the size of the cockroach what all sizes have you read until now okay you can say one fourth inch one fourth to three inches okay 0 0.6 to 7.6 centimeters okay or 34 to 53 millimeters okay this is all the dimensions which are given for their length. Then, the wings extend beyond the tip of the abdomen in males. What does this mean? Wings extend beyond the tip. So, if this is the male abdomen, this is the male abdomen with all the segments, wings are going to be seen even beyond that. The wings will be seen even beyond the tip of the abdomen. Fine? All right. Then the whole body is divided into three regions. There is a head, there is a head, there is a thorax and there is an abdomen. A head, a thorax and an abdomen. Yes, Satakshi, it will be there. Um, the entire body is made up of chitinous, hard chitinous exoskeleton. That is brown in color. Chitin is what? What is chitin? Everyone in my chat box, what is chitin? What is chitin made up of? It's a polysaccharide. And this polysaccharide is what is giving it the brown color. Fine? Alright. Then we see that the exoskeleton is made up of plates. Hardened plates called as sclerites. Okay? So, what are the names? Now, naming here are going to be very important. So, you have dorsally. Okay? Ventrally. Dorsally, ventrally and then joining them too. Okay. So, dorsally the part is going to be called as dorsal turgum. Ventrally, ventral sternum. Ventral sternum. Okay. And they are joined to each other. They are going to be joined to each other by these arthrodial membranes okay arthrodial arthrodial membranes all right class so you have here important points important points here turgites dorsally sternites ventrally joined by a thin and flexible articular membrane also called as arthrodial membrane perfect All right. So, we see that the head, head is triangular in shape and it lies anteriorly at right angles to the longitudinal body axis. Correct? Head is made up of how many segments? Head is made up of six segments. Each of those segments is called as a sclerite. Each of those segments is called as a sclerite. Okay? And it has a flexible neck. Okay, it has a flexible neck. Neck is at what degree angle? Neck is at what degree angle? Neck is at 90 degree angle. Okay, so if you have the head of the cockroach. No, where are the eyes? Eyes are lateral. Okay, head of the cockroach. Then this is going to be at 90 degrees the thorax. And then finally the abdomen. 
Okay, you're not supposed to be laughing at my cockroach. Not supposed to be, not allowed to laugh at my cockroach. Okay, everyone? Yes, 90 degree angle. Fine. Then, we see that um, the head capsule has a pair of, what all are structures included in head? Head consists of, head, head is consisting of compound eyes. Correct? Then, antennae. Correct? Antennae are helping in sensory reception that helps in monitoring the environment. Then appendages are there, okay, for forming biting and chewing type of mouth parts. Important point here for MCQ. Mouth parts of cockroach are biting and chewing type. Now, what are the mouth parts made up of? What are the mouth parts made up of? Labrum, upper lip, okay. Mandible, labrum, upper lip, labium, lower lip. Mandible is the upper jaw, maxilla is the lower jaw. Remember in cockroaches, the jaws are labeled opposite than ours. We have mandible lower, maxilla upper. Okay, for cockroaches it is exactly the opposite. Okay, in cockroaches it is exactly the opposite. Then, we see that a median flexible lobe is there which is behaving as tongue. Tongue is called as hypopharynx. Tongue is called as hypopharynx. So, kids. If you want to label mouth, mouth parts, okay. So first of all, when you talk about head of cockroach, head. Head consists of what all, what all parts does the head consist of? Head is made up of what parts? First, compound eyes. Compound eyes, okay. Compound eyes is made up of many simple units. What is each unit called as? Omatidium. It's called as omatidium. How many omatidium per compound eye? 2000 to 2500 omatidium per compound eye. Fine. Then the vision is blur mosaic vision. Blur mosaic vision. Fine. Next, after compound eyes, antenna. Antenna are sensory receptors sensory receptors then comes just a minute okay after antenna comes the white spots what do you call as the white spots fenestrae these are the primitive simple eye Okay, so before compound eyes developed, the cockroach also had a simple eye and today it is called as the fenestrate. Perfect. Now, last we come to mouth parts. Last we come to mouth parts. Okay, mouth parts are made up of upper jaw. Let's say labium, labrum, labium. Mandible, maxilla, and hypopharynx. Okay, so what is labrum? What is labrum? Labrum is upper jaw, upper lip, upper lip. Labium is lower lip, lower lip. Mandible is upper jaw. Maxilla is lower jaw and hypopharynx is tongue. Hypopharynx is tongue. Okay. Alright. So, here are the diagrams of the mouth parts. Okay. Obviously, in NEAT, you are not going to have to draw them. You will just need to learn the labelings of them. So, here you have, you can see here, upper, I told you, upper is mandible. Okay, lower is going to be the maxilla. Can you see lower is the maxilla? Maxilla are also having these structures here. They are called as the palps. They are called as the palps. Okay, they are going to be helping in grasping the food. Fine. Then, you can see that the mandible is having a serrated margin. 
mandible is having a serrated margin it is going to help it chew the food all right then if you see labium is the lower jaw okay lower jaw lower jaw and in the middle you have the tongue which is called as the hypopharynx in the middle fine so this is where the teeth are that's why they're calling it as the grinding region or the incising region the chewing part fine everyone is this clear is this clear everyone hi sakshi labrum is lower lip yes sorry kids lower lip upper jaw upper lip fine everyone perfect okay now next we come to okay next we come to the thorax region okay we come to the thorax region thorax is made up of three parts three parts prothorax mesothorax metathorax correct head is connected with the thorax by a neck neck head is connected by the with the help of a neck okay now oh ho oh, oh. sachin is thinking ma'am you are ignoring me kids what do we do with these kids who think that ma'am is ignoring them kya kiya jaye so each thoracic segment bears a pair of walking legs so let us start our diagrams chalo let's start nobody is allowed to laugh except ma'am ma'am ke ilawa koi nahi hasega am i clear so first we draw the head of the cockroach okay then from the head arises the thorax how many segment thorax how many segment thorax three segment thorax then what about the abdomen 10 segments 1 2 3 कॉक्रोच तुम्हारे घर पे नहीं मैम दिस इज टू बिग इट्स ओके चलो let us begin this is your compound eyes these are your compound eyes then will come the antennae and then will come the mouth part palp okay and now my cockroach officially looks like a chinese cockroach all right so now 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 all right now tell me okay now tell me here that when we talk about the thorax region okay here we go when we talk about thorax region this is let's start labeling them first okay this is prothorax mesothorax meta thorax okay prothorax mesothorax and meta thorax first we have let's see the first wings where are the first wings attached the first pair of wings are coming from the from which part children the mesothorax okay the first pair of wings are coming from the mesothorax and are they thick or are they thin tell me are they thick wings or are they the thinner wings mesothorax wings are the mesothorax wings are the thicker wings okay thick or thin po 
परफेक्ट मीजोथोरैक्स द अपर विंग्स आर द थिकर विंग्स अपर विंग्स आर द थिकर विंग्स ओके द विंग्स बिलो द विंग्स बिलो आर द थिनर विंग्स द विंग्स बिलो आर द थिनर विंग्स दे आर द एक्चुअल विंग्स विच विथ विथ विच द इंसेक्ट इज गोइंग टू बी एबल टू फ्लाई येस एवरीवन so we see over here that these are the four wings okay they also call as tegmina they are used for protection okay then these are the hind wings okay they are used for they are the true wings and they are used for flying is this clear everyone correct these are going to be thick dark and leathery opaque okay these hind wings are thin transparent and delicate is this clear everyone is this clear everyone now let's come to tegmina and it can also be called as elytra okay it can also be called as elytra the four wings now let's come to the hind wing or now let's come to the legs legs they are going to have joint appendages but let's see each thoracic segment bears one pair of legs each thoracic segment bears one pair of legs each thoracic segment is bearing one pair of legs is this clear each thoracic segment is bearing one pair of legs so you have your three segments of the thorax you have the four wings the hind wings and the three pairs of legs clear everyone here we go so as it's written here first pair of arises from mesothorax first pair of wings comes from mesothorax second pair from metathorax four wings are called tegmina they are opaque dark leathery they cover the hind wings when they are resting hind wings are transparent membranous and are used for flying clear then we see here abdomen consists of 10 segments okay abdomen is made up of 10 segments so here are the 10 segments in the abdomen now what is it that we see in both male and female a structure seen in both male and female these are called as anal cerci both in male and female structure is called as anal cerci correct now let's come to only the males and only the females separately when we see a pouch which is called as the brood pouch brood pouch okay in the males it is separate and in the females it is separate okay tell me one thing when we do the labelings dorsal part is called as dorsal what dorsal tergum dorsal part is called as dorsal tergum and ventral sternum correct here also tergum and ventrally sternum okay so can you see that in the female how is the brood pouch formed how is the brood pouch formed in the female children are you able to see the diagram how is the brood pouch formed in the female by the 7th 8th and 9th sternum 7th 8th and 9th sternum part come together to form the brood pouch in females is this clear is this clear 
सेवेंथ एथ एंड नाइन्थ स्टर्नम फॉर्म द ब्रूड पाउच इन फीमेल एंड इन फीमेल वॉट इज द ब्रूड पाउच मेड अप ऑफ वॉट ऑल आर द ब्रूड पाउच मेड अप ऑफ इन फीमेल इन फीमेल इट्स मेड अप ऑफ गोनोपोर स्पोमेटिकल पोर एंड कोलेट्रल ग्लैंड ओके इन मेल्स हाउ इज इट मेड इन मेल्स dorsally by ninth and tenth terga ventrally by ninth sternum so when we come to males look at it in males children dorsally by ninth and tenth terga and ventrally by ninth sternum is this clear dorsal means back okay so ninth tenth and ninth sternum in males and what is it made up of in males it is made up of the dorsal act dorsal anus and this is the male gonopore male gonopore with gonapophysis with gonapophysis clear everyone all right so we are done with this part we are now done with this part what does the the brood pouch in the male and the female consist of also male have anal style which are absent in male absent in female remember ladke style marte okay ladke style marte so males are with the anal styles all right then anal cerca is present in both the sexes anal style is present only in male anal cerci is present in both the sexes what is the function of anal cerci anal cerci what is the function tell me anyone it is behaving as what is anal cerci doing it behaves as organ of olfaction means it can here from the anal cerci also it is sensitive to ground vibrations it is sensitive to ground vibrations and also air movements anal cerci okay perfect understood everyone the cockroach ki kaan kidhar hai where are the where are the ears of the cockroach at the anal cerci where is the nose of the cockroach where is nose of cockroach in the antenna antenna is chemoreception nose of the cockroach is at the antenna clear this diagram clear everyone all the segments of the cockroach is this clear for everyone now let's continue now now we start with the digestive system digestive system of the cockroach you need to know the names of the parts okay first of all it is divided into three regions foregut midgut hindgut foregut can also be called as foregut can also be called as anyone stomodium stomodium foregut midgut is mesenteron mesenteron and hindgut is proctodium stomodium mesenteron and hindgut is called as proctodium fine now when the mouth opens mouth has got the all the mouth parts labrum labium mandible maxilla hypopharynx now that is going to open into the pharynx it is a short tubular pharynx pharynx leads to esophagus esophagus then opens into a sac like structure called as crop what is the function of crop storing the food fine crop is followed by gizzard what is gizzard gizzard is like a chakki machine 
gizzard is a chucky machine whatever the cockroach is eating you know it is omnivorous it eats everything okay so whatever the cockroach is eating it needs to be grinded into a uniform consistency that is going to be done with the help of the teeth of, of the gizzard and gizzard is able to do that because gizzard has gizzard has six highly chitinous plates which we call as teeth clear also the gizzard is having outer layer of thick circular muscles so when you see the gizzard there will be an outer layer of muscles outer layer of muscles and inside you will see that there are six teeth so that the grinding can happen so this is the outer layer of muscles all right and inside are the six teeth six teeth inside this is what the gizzard is made up of and that's why we say gizzard is going to be a grinding apparatus grinding apparatus but also it is a straining apparatus grinding and straining apparatus gizzard fine so we see here the entire the entire foregut is lined by a cuticle entire foregut is lined by cuticle then after the foregut after the foregut gizzard marks the end of foregut everyone important gizzard marks the end of foregut gizzard marks the end of foregut then comes next hepatic ck what is special about hepatic ck hepatic ck are, are a ring ring of Six to eight blind tubules. They are called as hepatic or gastric CK. Where are they present? At the junction of foregut and midgut. That is right over here. Okay. So we see over here. This is the foregut. This is the midgut, and this is where hepatic CK are. At the junction of foregut and midgut. Then, what is the function of hepatic CK? Why are they present? they are going to secrete digestive juices all right they are going to secrete digestive juices and one more region junction of junction of midgut and hindgut okay at the junction of midgut and hindgut you have these thread like malpighian tubules thread like malpighian tubules what is the function of malpighian tubules excretion all right it's going to be excretion 100 to 150 yellow colored thin filamentous malpighian tubules okay what are they going to do function they're taking out all the excretory products from the body fluid body fluid is called as hemolymph body fluid is called as hemolymph fine then the main part of the midgut here is the whole part here the mesenteron this is the main part okay mesenteron can also remember two two important words i want you to remember okay gizzard can also be called as pro ventriculus okay and the midgut is also called as ventriculus are you able to see this midgut is also called as ventriculus and gizzard is also called as the proventriculus is this clear everyone yes because it comes before the midgut it is called as the proventriculus the gizzard part then now we continue with the hindgut the hindgut we see is broader than midgut and it is made up of three parts ileum colon and rectum rectum finally opens out through the anus rectum opens out through the anus okay next we see here now coming to the vascular system coming to the vascular system the blood vascular system of cockroach is open type so body cavity is going to be called as hemocoel body fluid is going to be called as hemolymph now when we talk about the hemocoel let's talk about hemocoel okay if you see the whole cockroach
okay first of all there's going to be two diaphragms one diaphragm above one diaphragm below okay so this is going to be called as the dorsal diaphragm and the one below is going to be called as the ventral diaphragm okay now they are divided into three parts accordingly this over here is the part where you can find the heart of the cockroach okay how many chambered heart how many chambered heart Thirteen chambered heart yes or no Chalo kids, how many chambers have we covered? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. Okay, this should have actually... we go 13 chambered heart chalo done all right okay that is in the upper part so the upper part is hence also called as upper part is hence also called as the which chamber it will be called as the pericardial chamber or you can call it as the pericardial sinus pericardial sinus okay the middle one is where the whole digestive system is going to be okay the the esophagus the crop the gizzard okay then the proventriculus okay the mesenteron the ventriculus then comes the ileum the cecum and the colon and rectum okay this is that here are the hepatic ck here are the malpighian tubules okay so this is the part which contains the digestive system the reproductive system everything will be over here so this is also called as peri visceral sinus okay and lowermost part lowermost part is going to contain the nerve cords double nerve cord so, lower part is also going to be called as perineural sinus. Okay, it is also called as perineural sinus. So, you have the pericardial sinus, the perivisceral sinus and the perineural sinus. They are going to be separated, they are going to be separated by two diaphragms, dorsal diaphragm, ventral diaphragm. Is this clear? Is this clear about the hemoseal? Hemoseal. Correct? Now, when we talk about the 13 chambered heart, okay, when we talk about the 13 chambered heart, let's take only this part. Okay? 13 chambered heart. What, do, what else can you tell me? Which are muscles that support the heart? Muscles which are supporting the heart. What are they called as children? Muscles which are supporting the heart. What are they called as? Muscles supporting the heart are called as allery muscles. Triangular, triangular allery muscles are present. 
okay now one thing i want you to remember there is 13 chambered heart okay each chamber has a pair of openings as a pair of openings they are called as ostia they are called as ostia so if you have this is a chamber this is a chamber okay where is the ostia ostia are going to be somewhere right over here opening 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 so that any of the body fluid can enter inside is this clear these are ostia is this clear everyone small openings called as ostia now how many allery muscles are present where are the allery muscles let's draw them between two chambers you have over here allery muscles Between two chambers you have allery muscles. Clear? So 13 chambered heart and 13 chambered heart between that there are 12 pairs of allery muscles. Clear everyone? So we are done with hemocele. The parts of the hemocele done with the chambers of the heart. Done with the allery muscles which helps in pumping of the heart. Is this clear? So, let us come to the textbook lines. Let's come to the textbook lines. Blood vessels are poorly developed. They open into the hemocele. So, over here you have one anterior aorta. One anterior aorta is the only blood vessel. It directly is going to open into the head. Okay? These are the allery muscles which are present. So, only one Blood vessel poorly developed. These are the allery muscles. And the, the aorta. The aorta is going to open into the head sinus. Alright. Then we see. Visceral organs. Are in the hemolymph. Visceral organs are in the hemolymph. Hemolymph is made up of colorless plasma. And hemocyte. So blood is made up of plasma and cells. Which are called as hemocytes. Okay. They are phagocytic in function. Then. Heart of cockroach consists of elongated muscular tube along the mid dorsal line. Then it is a tubular heart. It is made up of into funnel shaped chambers with ostia on each side. They are the openings. Then blood from sinuses enter into the heart through the ostia and it's pumped to anterior sinus again. Alright. So when we talk about the circulatory system, when you talk about the circulatory system, how is the blood flow happening? How is the blood flow happening everyone? Let's talk about that. Circulatory system. From the heart. Okay. The blood enters into. Sorry. Enters into aorta. From aorta it enters into head. Sinus. Head sinus. Okay. From head sinus it enters into. peri. Visceral sinus. From perivisceral sinus it opens into perineural sinus. And from perineural sinus it comes back and opens back into the pericardial sinus and from pericardial sinus it re-enters into the heart is this clear circulation of hemolymph 
clear everyone circulation of hemolymph is this clear hi shreya yes sumit all right now coming to respiratory system respiratory system openings are called as spiracles okay how many 10 pairs of small holes called spiracles 10 pairs of them so if we come back to our cockroach diagram where are the spiracles where are the spiracles let's draw them here there are spiracles here One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this clear? The spiracles present. Two are present in the thorax. Eight are eight openings are present in the abdomen. Clear, everyone. Okay. What are these openings called, as children? These are spiracles. they are spiracles then we see that spiracles are opening into how are the spiracles opening into tubes spiracles are opening into tubes so let's draw that first kids here is the one opening called as spiracle then that spiracle is opening into tubes these tubes are going to be called as the trachea then trachea is further going to bifurcate going to bifurcate into thinner tracheoles opening spiracle trachea tracheoles all right why is this present because the blood does not contain hemoglobin okay blood has no hemolymph has no part in respiration in respiration it does not carry oxygen does not carry carbon dioxide so all of it all the respiratory gases have to be de delivered to each and every cell by the respiratory system itself fine now coming to excretion also one more thing spiracles are guarded by sphincters and ex and exchange of gases takes place by diffusion now let us come to excretion coming to excretion malpighian tubules where are they present they are present in the at the junction of midgut and hindgut now malpighian tubule is lined by glandular and ciliated cells what are they function what is the function they are going to absorb the waste products and convert them to uric acid so we know that they are uricotelic they are uricotelic okay and then it is going to be excreted out through the hind gut therefore the insect is uricotelic all right also along with this there is fat body nephrocytes and uricose glands which help in excretion so for excretion for excretion to be conducted excretion okay there is malpighian tubules malpighian tubules are there fat bodies nephrocytes and uricose glands okay all of this is helping for excretion to be conducted all right now we see nervous system nervous system okay it is made up of a nerve cord or nerve ring we can say kahan pe hai ye let's see this first okay all right so we have here nervous system is made up of fused segmentally arranged ganglia okay they are joined by longitudinal connectives on the ventral side three ganglia are in thorax six in the abdomen so we see over here there is a diagram nervous system nervous system diagram 
नहीं दिया है फाइन नो प्रॉब्लम विल ड्रॉ इट सो वेन वी सी अ कॉक्रोच चलो लेट्स ड्रॉ एवरी वन रेडी विथ मी Okay, three segments for three segments for thorax, and then ten segments for abdomen. All right. Now, head region, head region is going to be having what? The nerve ring. What is the nerve ring made up of? Ganglions. Nerve ring is made up of ganglions. And connectives. And connectives. So you have here supra. Usophageal ganglion, okay. Sub usophageal ganglion and connectives and connectives. this whole structure is called as this whole structure is going to be called as the nerve ring is going to be called as the nerve ring where is this nerve ring present we will take this nerve ring and position it right over here clear everyone take that nerve ring and put it at the head region clear everyone then let's now start drawing the ganglions pair of ganglion in the first segment pair of ganglion in the second segment in the third segment now coming to abdominal segments abdominal segments and their ganglions let's first label first second third fourth fifth sixth Seven, eight, nine, and tenth segment. One, two, and three thoracic segments. Now talking about where are these ganglions? One pair, second pair, third pair, fourth pair, fifth pair, and sixth pair. Is there any ganglion in the sixth segment? Is there any ganglion in the sixth segment? children tell me on the chat box is there any ganglion in the sixth segment is there any ganglion in the sixth segment children okay so in the abdomen there are six pairs of ganglions in the abdomen there are six pairs of ganglions but they are present in the first second third fourth fifth and seventh segment am i clear and what is the nerve cord it is a double ventral nerve cord double ventral nerve cord also the last ganglion is the triangular one and it is the largest one triangular and largest am i clear triangular and largest Okay, nervous system clear, everyone. 
okay we are done with the we are also done with the sensory organs right when we did head we have done the sensory organs too now solid ventral double nerve cord very good shreya now now we come to the reproductive system now coming to the reproductive system okay cockroaches sexes are separate they are dioecious okay well developed reproductive organs male reproductive system first male reproductive system first it consists of a pair of testes lying on the between 4 to 6 abdominal segments sure where is the diagram here it is okay so talking about the abdominal segments 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so between 4 to 6 are the pair of testes okay testes are leading to the vas deferens testes are going to be leading to the vas deferens how many vas deferens two two testes two vas deferens then there is going to be a small gland okay okay then the vas deferens is leading to a single single seminal vesicle where the sperms will mature and they will mature with the help of two glands one gland is the phallic gland and also mushroom gland mushroom gland they both are going to help the sperms to mature once the sperms are mature they come out as small packets and they will come out through the single ejaculatory duct single ejaculatory duct out through the male gonopore it will come out through the male gonopore is this clear everyone it will come out through the male gonopore so we see here thin vas deferens opens into ejaculatory duct through seminal vesicle ejaculatory duct opens into male gonopore situated ventral to anus there is mushroom shaped gland in 6 to 7th abdominal segments and it functions as an accessory reproductive gland the mushroom gland okay external genitalia are male gonapophyses or phallomere they are chitinous and they are asymmetrical okay they are the structures which surround the gonopore sperms are stored in small packets or bundles okay they are glued together in bundles what is that bundle called as it's called as sper spermatophore they are called as spermatophore so sperms are ejected as spermatophores during copulation during copulation fine now let's come to female let's come now to female reproductive system it consists of two large ovaries okay and they are in the second to sixth abdominal segments two large ovaries now we see here when we see the ovaries when you see the ovaries okay here we go ovaries have got this is these are both ovaries this is one ovary this is the second ovary each ovary have small ovarioles inside them 1 2 3 4 5 and on the other side 3 so there are eight ovarioles eight ovarioles then each ovariole is going to have a maturing egg each ovariole will have a maturing egg so the eggs which are over here are fully mature like that how many ovarioles eight ovarioles eight ovarioles over here there are going to be fully fully mature eggs fully mature eggs at the ending so all the eggs as they are coming down the eggs are going to be maturing and by the time they reach over here they are fully mature then they will be passing through the they will be passing through the oviduct this here is the oviduct okay sorry this over here oviduct then they come together they meet together along with the eggs now this is going to form the common oviduct also called as the vagina fine 
in this region and the vagina is also going to be present the spermatica this is where the sperms are stored and please remember spermatica is present in female cockroach spermatica is present in female cockroach and this is the place where sperms are going to be stored fine then you got here collateral glands collateral glands these are going to be secreting out um, their secretions are going to form the uthika okay their secretions are going to be forming the uthika so let's come back to that let's come back to that each ovary is made up of a group of eight ovarian tubules called as ovarioles they have a chain of developing ova oviducts unite in a middle oviduct and this is also called as the vagina it opens into the genital chamber pair of spermatica is present in the sixth segment opens into the uh, into the genital chamber so where is spermatica present in the sixth chamber they are in pairs fine sperms are going to be transferred through spermatophores what is present in the female what is present in the female system what is present in the female system it is spermatica spermatica is present in the female system what is spermatophore the packets of sperms fine then uthika the fertilized eggs are released as uthika uthika is what it is a dark reddish to blackish brown capsule what is the dimension it is 38 or 8 mm long okay they are going to be dropped by the female cockroach to a suitable surface suitable surface means where there will be a crack or there is not much light there is not much air okay but there is maybe a food source nearby okay so into a crack or relatively high relative humidity near a food source females produce 9 to 10 uthike each containing 14 to 16 eggs in one lifetime okay the development is porometabolous means that there is going to be a nymph stage so baby cockroaches are called as nymph they are called as nymphs okay the lung nymph looks just very much similar to adults okay nymph is going to grow by molting around 13 times to reach the adult form molting takes place how many times 13 times okay next next um exoskeleton develops within 8 hours the next exoskeleton is going to develop within 8 hours all right next to last nymphal stage has been pads but only the adult cockroaches have actual wings all right clear everyone clear everyone so kids i would like you to know that in today's description box i have also every day we are attaching a neat mock test for you guys anytime you can go to the description box visit the link over there and you can attempt the neat mock test made just for all of you okay i hope you all are aware at vedantu's um site we have got at the site of vedantu there is a new test series which i have launched the final days most important questions from all the subjects only at 999 only at 999 rupees okay the test series has been launched launched with the most important questions i hope you've liked the video i hope you've shared it with your friends and i hope you've already subscribed to our channel please don't miss to hit the bell icon so you get notified okay and also the telegram link is there in our uh, description box please join the telegram link so you get notified of all the super important sessions which are going on every day on our channel right now also in the telegram channel you will be getting pdfs of all the sessions which are conducted i hope you all got yesterday's pdf of molecular basis ncert highlights if at all you guys still feel that is at this end moment also you need a final push we have we have help for you we have support for you okay um the cc light recorded sessions at only 1800 so in those recorded sessions you can get you are you will be able to view whatever chapter you want to you will get all the help here with the class teachers when you having doubts during those sessions there are class teachers sitting there right to help you and solve your doubts okay 
there's going to be a lot of practice for you over there if at all you're feeling you're not able to pull it out through this end days on your own correct all the subjects class teachers are going to be there to help you out all right so you can improve your rank give it that final push and score better than what you would be expecting okay if you feel you want a live master teacher also the live crash course is there okay but don't forget at only 1800 the link is given in the description box and you all know what is the coupon code that you're supposed to put everybody knows the coupon code coupon code you're supposed to use is going to be s i p r o please use this coupon code so you get yourself the discount only at 1800 fine Otherwise, the crash course is also available to you all. All right. I hope you all are aware of the superb um, KVP by scholars which have come from Vedantu this year of 2021. Top 44 students uh, from Vedantu were selected. 5 came in top 10, 10 came in top 100 and 30 came in top 1000. All right. So here are all of our KVP by awesome scholars. All right, state-wise ranks have been produced. All right, if at all you're finding any doubts, please do visit our, or you can WhatsApp us, whatever doubts you're having. Here is the WhatsApp number. And whatever, um, whatever is you, if you feel that you want to go for a, for a mock test, you want to join the test series, you want to join the crash course slide, all the links are given in the description box. Okay, you just need to put in the coupon code SIPRO so that wherever it is, you can get your discount. All right, kids, I wish you all the very best and I hope you know what is our next schedule. I hope you know already what is going to be our next schedule. Yes, everyone. Our next schedule is going to be Monday, 11th July, human reproduction. Okay. We're going to do the, um, we have the IDOC series where I'm going to take the whole reproductive unit, most important questions of human reproduction and reproductive health. Everyone be with me morning 10 p.m. 10 a.m. Human reproduction and reproductive health series. Okay, IDOC series, most important questions of those two chapters will be included there. All right, kids, bye-bye. All the best.